Hi there, and welcome to the Chronicles of Noob. Um, in this video, I finally defeat the Widowmaker, which got the better of me when I first had a go at it. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Widowmaker, if you are looking for a mountain bike ride in Devon, uh, then you are definitely going to hear about the Prince Town to Burrator route, uh, which is actually a loop. Um, and I would just say it's definitely worth uh, getting out there. It's, it's a beautiful ride. Um, and on that loop, uh, you've got the option to go into what mountain bikers call the Widowmaker. And it's pretty much all comprises of rock garden. So if you fancy taking your skills into a pretty heavy rock garden, then um, this is for you. It's a great little challenge. So in terms of what, what it's actually like, uh, check it out in this video. I'm glad to say that I've now got the whole stretch on video because I finally completed it. The Widowmaker. All right, so is it as bad as what people might say? Um, well. If you take everything at your own pace, um, it's always going to be a nice stretch for your skill set. Um, I think I'm going faster on it now than I would have last year, without a doubt. Um, in terms of rock garden challenges, it really is a challenge. You've got anything from boulders to fist-sized rocks that will actually topple your balance and ping you off the bike. So I would say take it at your own pace, you know, be comfortable, but just push against yourself a little bit. It's more fun that way. And if you decide to go up it, like I did at the end, um, then, well, that's another challenge in and of itself. It's a very, it's a completely different challenge, but I would recommend it. I really enjoyed doing that. If you're mountain biking in Devon and you like to be out and about and get away from the trails and the parks, um, I would say that the Widowmaker is definitely one to check out. And you're rewarded at the bottom by the beauty of Burrator Reservoir. Uh, so you can just sit by the river and, uh, you know, like I did, have a cuppa um, and, and just relax and, and, you know, think about the challenge you've just completed. So for me personally, mountain biking is, is a great opportunity to get out and about. I like the idea of getting away from the trails where I up my skills. Um, but I do like to get out and about and conquer the hills and the valleys and the land in between. Um, for me, that's what mountain biking is, is uh, for. Um, and this is a really great place to go and do that. Have a look in this video just so you can look at the sort of terrain you'll be facing. Just before you skip off to have a look at that, I'll just mention that I've got a podcast now where I talk about the world of the noob and trying new things and the mentality with that and um, the enriching experiences I've had since, since embracing that. If you go to the chronicles of noob.com, uh, you'll see more info on that. But uh, yeah, I hope you find that interesting. Anyway, enjoy this video. I hope it prepares you for a really great day out. And I would definitely recommend the Prince Town to Burrator Loop um, with the Widowmaker included uh, for anyone looking for a great mountain biking day out in Devon. All right, cool. I'll let you go. Thank you so much. Bye. Let's go. So I believe this is Nuns Cross. Nuns Cross. Yeah, and then down here, that'll go down to Burrator. I only got so far without a puncture last time. Yeah, it's very rocky. I've been up and down. Yeah, pick, pick me up when you find me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that's not my fate today. So we'll see, shall we? I had a banana and some Pringles, so.
up dramatically like this is a really climactic moment here on the Widowmaker. But I'm now about to go further on the Widowmaker than I ever have before. Yay! <laughs> Take it. Well, that was the Widowmaker stretch. But good fun, I mean, it's all downhill. You just got to sort of like handle the fatigue on the wrists, which, um, yeah, but that was cool. It was fun. So if you've ever done a loop around Burrator, you'll recognize this little car park here uh, after this bridge. And that's where you come out. So you, I'm just doing circles. So there's the car park and I turned into here. So you come out of the Widowmaker section there. I'm half tempted to, I think it would be interesting to try and do the up, go up the Widowmaker, uh, cause that's quite a good challenge. But I'm gonna stop and have coffee with a view. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop and have coffee with a view. Bye. to Snowden I decided to go up the pig track and then down miners which was beautiful and lovely um, but I remember thinking oh I wish I had the the bigger physical task of the pig track on the way back as well so I think I'd also really like to see how I do going up the Widowmaker section um, on the on the bike coming down to Burrow Tour especially from Princetown is really beautiful I mean the landscape of Dartmoor is just beautiful um, you know, you've got the rivers and, 
and the, and the trees and then you've got the open moorland it's, it's just it's so diverse and then we pass a tour which I'm tempted to have a climb on um, it's just so much to it it's so beautiful and you know mountain biking this is why I wanted to do mountain biking it's about going out and finding time and um, a moment um, yeah so this is what it's about it's lovely what a great way to um, what a great thing to put into my day that's lovely and uh, yeah great let's go I might really regret this. I hate hill climbs. Oh, a rule to myself is that I can stop for a rest, but I'm not allowed to walk. I think that's fair. Fuck. Oops, I was wrong. Oh my god. That's the wrong way. Okay. That was intense. I mean, going down, what's my ride time? Oh, about 35 minutes riding up, like that's weird. But that there, if you're doing Princetown to Burrator, that's often referred to as the Widowmaker, apparently. It's difficult on the wrists, like wow. Um, and I'm glad that I challenged myself to come up it. And it really was a challenge. I found that like, wow. But I made a deal with myself. I would, I could stop for a rest if I wanted to, but, um, but I couldn't walk. And I'm, I'm proud to say that, um, actually I didn't stop for a rest. I stopped for a wee, but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I enjoyed that. So going down a rock garden like that, um, you're going to feel it on your wrists and you need to keep your, cent your weight quite central. And I would say a little bit back. I found myself feeling better when I was doing that. Uh, let the bike move underneath you on the uneven ground, but just try not to, so you can sort of tilt the bike a little bit, but I, I hope it's right, but you know, letting the bike move, but not putting your, not slanting yourself, because um, you see the big rocks and you kind of plan for them, but you don't see these little fist sized ones really. and. And they're the ones that if they get under your tire and your weight's not on the center of the bike, but it's sort of over, um, you know, you, you're not transferring your weight through your feet and into the central part of the bike uh, and to create traction. So you're just kind of waiting for the wheel to ping out and fling you down. And that nearly got me right at the end on a, on a stupid little stone. It felt, it felt small underneath the wheel, but I nearly went off for it. So tips for going down that sort of thing stay loose but stay central and a little bit back um and me personally i was just feathering the brakes a lot just uh maintaining a comfortable speed and wherever i could just rolling and then get a bit of, get a bit of pedal power and just 
roll through things and watch the weight. Coming up, um, it's a whole different thing. There's just a lot of, you know, you're constantly having to maintain pedal power. I had a low gear, uh, but not the easiest gear so that I could push through sometimes just to get up weird, you know, bigger things than I'd planned for. Um, so if you're in too easy a gear, you can't really go up a half foot rock because there's just nothing there to push against. So coming up something like that, um, it's a case of, yeah, uh, more central than back. Um, and uh, just really pedal through uh, and keep the front light. That's I, I found that then I was really keeping the front light and that helped me. That's how I did it anyway. Um, but I did it, so happy days. I'm really chuffed, did it. Whoop, whoop. Don't know why I do that. I've got to stop that.